Welcome to the finale of Super Mario Bros. 3. After dealing with the first half of World 8, now it's time for us to deal with the second half. And by the way, I thought for a second there this place was called Darkland, but I keep forgetting that the US called it the Castle of Koopa. But whatever the case, folks, now it's time for us to go to the first of two numbered levels in this game, World 8-1. And if you don't have a raccoon leaf, by god, this stage is hard. Timing is everything, and having to go through this pipe pretty much breaks the stage in half. I mean, it's the only way for you to actually get across, because I think there is a giant wall preventing you from going any further. So you have to take the high road. Anyway... You might want to try to keep this raccoon leaf, or should I say raccoon Mario, goddamn stoppage there. You want to keep raccoon Mario as much as you can, try to at least get raccoon Mario onto the... Well, I might as well just suicide right here. Yeah, that's a shame. Alright, let's try that again, pretend nobody saw that. Let's try to beat it for real this time. So let's get ourselves a running start, and I apologize for the lag. On. Running start. There we go. Yeah, and I also apologize for the lack cutting in in the commentary, but you just have to get a running start. Again, this pipe is definitely used to not only get one ups, but also uh, to try to pretty much cut three fourths of the stage because we're near the end. That's the thing, we have to get past the bullet bill cannons in order for it to get to the end of the stage. Oh god! Oh! Oh man, that was, that was some scary ass shit right there. Oh, that was scary too! I thought I didn't make it! Whatever the case, folks, this marks the second to last numbered level of the game. Lord have mercy. On to the next level, which should not be as bad. Now, if, here's the thing. If you aren't taking the quicksand, there is a Sparky, I do believe, that is going to appear if you go through the other half of the game and you try to outrun him, well, it's going to be a little bit difficult because there's Piranha Plant in the area. I mean, Venus Fire Traps. Whichever you want to call them. Whatever the case is, they will be waiting for you while you're trying to outrun Sparky. And I'm trying to get a uh, boost here so I can get some coins. Come on, damn it! there we go. Sorry if it looks like I'm wasting time, but I only got a few amount of seconds left before the uh, clock strikes zero, so I'm gonna just get out of here or get some more coins. Whichever one works. Then again, the closer I am to a 1-up, the easier that'll make this. Alright. Oh, fuck you! Now, here comes the hard part. What you need to do, you need a running start. If you can land on the Koopa, fine, but jump on the notes and hop across and that's the end. If you're still being chased by Sparky, He'll actually be a thousand points. And now, I saved this for a reason. And sorry if that was a cutout there. Because I had to stop what I was doing to make sure that nothing freezes or nothing lags or shit like that because I happened to saw the recording. Or the post recording. Whatever the case, folks, welcome to the final fortress in the game. The World 8 Fortress. This isn't Bowser's Castle. No, 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 no. This is the final fortress of the game. The final time we'll ever have to see a fortress in this game ever again. This is a torrential maze. It's got two sides to this castle. And you can and will get screwed if you are small. Well, not at this point. You had to actually break through the H in order to get through. But if you get shrunk somewhere along the line before you get to that point, yeah, might as well die. 
Now then, we're gonna open up this uh, area and we're gonna use the P switch to try to run as fast as we. God damn it, I got shrunk. I was trying to run as fast as we can before that happened so I could get the coin and not have to face the flop that's there. <sighs> Here we go. Honestly, I should have actually went into the door to get me a power-up. That would have saved me some trouble. Now let's try this again without dying this time. I am failing miserably. <sighs> Whatever the case, folks. We almost got this. We only have three more levels left in this game, and after that, the game is over. Trust me, I'm gonna win, otherwise it wouldn't be the finale, now would it? Now I would never ever do that to you guys, really I wouldn't. Anyway, there is an other, the other side to this, where you could actually go into this door here, which will lead you to that thwomp, and also to that, uh... Raccoon leaf, if you happen to have a mushroom. Whoa! Go oh God, that was close. Now then, let's try this again. Run, this time jump, run, run through. Yes! This is what I was trying to do the last time, but apparently the game didn't count it. That was bullshit, by the way. And thankfully, you do need to be big so you'll be able to reach to the, um, uh, oh shit. Oh shit! What I was trying to say was you needed to be big in order for a reach the door. And that P switch would have led you to your way out. And by the way, in case you uh, need a power up, that one door that was above would have led you to it. Let's just get out of the way of the spikes and stay ducked because once you get on the uh, conveyor belt, it'll put you straight to Boom Boom. All right, now for the last fortress, Boom Boom. Just take him out, that's it. But be careful, he is on a conveyor belt and he'll just end up being pushed into you because of the fact that the conveyor belt is constantly moving. That was actually the hardest stage of the game. No, I'm dead serious, it was. And that pipe lead us straight to the last portion of the game. Before we take on the Armada, let's go on ahead and go pipe surfing. Or should I say, searching for some pipe. Well, the funny part about all of this is, the only levels we have to do if we ever come back to this stage is, um, uh, the three trap warp worlds. Okay, let me, let me repeat that. <clears throat> if you restart the game, the only worlds you have to do is World 8, Trap Room 1, 2, and 3, and World 8, 1, and 2, because the Fortress and all of Bowser's fleet, once you get rid of them, will be gone and you'll have a clear shot to Bowser. Harold, I just showed you a shortcut where you don't even need to go to the palace. Whatever the case, this is the final, final tank army of Bowser, which is Bowser's super tank army. And this one, you got a moving screen, you got the bombs, you got cannonballs. The bombs will take out the other bombs. This will be the last time you see Rocky Wrenches. This is also going to be the last time you see Boom Boom. <sighs> boom Boom. You only got me once, you son of a bitch. And that was one too many times. Whatever the case, folks. Okay, he got me more than once, really, but still, that was one too many times. I just gotta be careful not to get hit by a cannonball, and of course I do. And this area is actually pretty easy, let alone short. This is the... This is actually the shortest stage of the game, really. After the 
uh, castle, it was smooth sailing. And you just have to beat Boom Boom. And that's it. That's, that's the end of it. Boom Boom's done. All that's left now is Bowser himself. All right, let's get a leaf on here and get Raccoon Mario. You're going to need it. Trust me. Yeah, first off, you should get a flying start and be careful not to get hit by the lasers because the hitboxes on the lasers is really screwed up. There's been times where I lost my power up trying to run under the lasers, so if you get a running start to fly over the lasers, by all means, that's a good thing. Avoid the flame that comes out of the candle, and more importantly, just keep on going, but be careful of these uh, waffles. I'm going to call them waffles because that's what they look like. You might want to duck so they won't actually hit you. All right. Now then, run and fly as high as you can if you have Raccoon Mario or Tanuki Mario for that matter. They work the same way. Anyone else, you might want to try to climb to the highest ledge. Now then, once you get to the top... Oh, shit! You son of a bitch! You lucky bastard, you! That's okay. Eh... That's not okay. It's not okay at all. Ah, <sighs> cut! Just seriously cut. That was embarrassing beyond belief. <sighs> Let's try this again. This time. This time. Let's not run into the other laser in the uh, Bowser statue room. The second Bowser statue room. That laser actually did cut me off guard. And as you saw, its hitbox is really bad. So let's duck. Try to duck again. Oh, right. There was a stoppage here. Whew. Oh, God, that was close. Yeah, sorry about that frame rate drop, folks. That's another reason why I stopped recordings in the middle of uh, playthroughs and try to start a new session because for some reason there was some frame rate drops. All right, let's try this again, and this time I'm not going to die. Whew. That was close. That laser will only shoot once, by the way. And, once it, and the others don't shoot, which is kind of weird. Oh, God! <sighs> yeah, that just happened. Yeah, that was stupid. <sighs> Here's the thing, though. This area is pretty short if you're taking the high path. I know you guys are kind of sick of me failing. And I know you just can't stand me failing constantly. You just want me to get it over with. This is the last level of the game, folks. And yeah, I'm using save stage. I mean, after... Part 3 of this playthrough, and Part 5, I'm using states, or actually no, it was Part 6, rather. I'm using save states, because I do not want to have to start all over from the beginning, again. And frame rate drop just happened. Okay. This time, avoid statue, check, and this time I'm going to try to get a running start. I'll try to get a running start so I can fly over all of these uh, fireballs. Come on. We can do this. There we go. Yeah, fuck your platforming, Bowser. I spoke too soon. All right. Now it's time for the big man himself. Bowser, you're going to have to lure him to a location where he can 
uh, ground pound, but also avoid his fireballs. By the way, the fire flower and the, uh, oh god, I can't believe I did that. That was stupid. The fire flower and the, uh, Hammer Brothers suit would make quick work of him. However, that's not the case because Bowser kills me. Damn it! Imbecile! Yes, I know, I know I was an imbecile for running into the fireball. <sighs> Let's finish this. Let's finish this and be done with it. Alright. We're gonna end this battle once and for all. Come on, Bowser. Do your worst. Alright. Let's try to... I think you're supposed to run under him instead of trying to jump. Whoa! I was just playing with death right there. Oh god, I ran into him. Like a dunce. Damn it. Whew, that was close. Come on, Bowser. Come on, Bowser. There we go. Oh god. Of course I was gonna die. Why wouldn't I? Really? What the fuck? Why are you doing this to me? What the hell is this? Okay, this has never happened before. Seriously, Bowser's on his last leg. He's trying to seek you out. And... Ah, uh, damn it. I'll be back. Alright, let's try this one last time. This time I'm gonna get him. After so many butt fumbles that I happen to have in this playthrough, I deserve some sort of solace here. But whatever the case, folks, the true strategy here is not to be trolled by Bowser like earlier, but no. <clears throat> You're supposed to lure him to an area where he's going to ground pound. And also be careful because he mixes up the range of his fireballs, whether they're high or they're low. Or if they're one or two. Or even three. There's a rarity if he actually fires three, but then again, there's also a rarity of Bowser seeking you out while you have, um... While you're trying to lure him to drop the I mean, ground pound on you. That is a rarity. And you know what? I like using Bowser in Smash 4. His ground pound is pretty cool. Too bad it just like here it causes him to go off the cliff. Whatever the case, folks, Super Mario Bros. 3 is finally finished. And now it's time to save Princess Toadstool, who should have never taken a stroll in the first place, knowing that Bowser would kidnap her. And I like the all-star version of this game as opposed to the NES. The NES has it look like she's being stored away in the stock room of the Toad House. Here, she's actually locked in within a castle, and I just freed her. But that's okay, Bowser will try again in Super Mario World. By the way, Super Mario World will be the next time I ever come back to the Mario series. Anyway, <clears throat> the last thing Toadstool gives us is, Thank you, Mario, but your princess is in another castle. Just kidding. Ha ha. I'll remember that come sunshine if I ever do that. I'll remember that. I really will. Anyway, my final thoughts for Super Mario Bros. 3. I love this game. It may seem like I'm agitated because of all the things that happened in the playthrough. Not the game itself, the playthrough. First DS, NES crashing twice, causing me to restart all over again. Then I have the emulator doing the exact same thing. But all in all, I managed to get through the game without any major um, ridiculous problems. But all in all, my favorite world is the sky because 
I love the theme of the sky and more importantly the Tanuki suit. And also it's Ice World too. I love that land too. Even though that one is where most of the screw ups happen, but screw Pipe Maze. I never want to see Pipe Maze ever again. At least I didn't use the Warp Whistle. I should have used the Warp Whistle, really, on World 7 at least. But then again, that would have screwed me over big time. But whatever the case, folks, we are done here with Super Mario Bros. 3. And after you beat Super Mario Bros. 3 in the end, you. Ugh! Ah, god damn it, did I just spit my tongue? I meant to say, after you beat Super Mario Bros. 3 in the original NES and also the original All-Stars version, you at least get P-Wings. Not in Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. What you had in World 8 is what you get. So I only had one frog suit, a couple of clouds, a jukebox, several frog suits, and... Uh, a couple of warp whistles, so yeah, I would have been hosed if I'd actually used a warp whistle. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we are done here with Mario 3, the next game on our list after a week hiatus after Final Fantasy 15 is Dynasty Warrior 6. Be on the lookout for that.